Hey, what's going on, folks? Phil back at you here. Uh, I had some time this uh, weekend to do some spins after taking a week off last week. Got a few requests that I've taken care of. There's a couple more, including uh, Hyperactive by Thomas Dolby and Janice Ian at 17. And for the person that requests the song, the one with the mono side, there's a nasty scratch uh, that's uh, leading into the record, and it covers the first 50 seconds of the record here in a pop. I wasn't going to play that because it's uh, not good, so I played the stereo side, which is much cleaner. Uh, Chambers Brothers. Eh, while I have both of these out, uh, looks like Columbia pressed two promos for this. This is the regular stock single version, 4 minutes 45 seconds. Album version, I believe, was like 8, 9 minutes long or something like that. And then uh, 4 minutes 45 seconds wasn't enough for radio, I guess. So uh, Columbia resurfaced the record with a shorter edit running 305. This is the one that I recorded. Oh, five-man electrical band signs. You know, I have two, this promo here while I have it out. Um, I have two different promos of this. List the timing at 4.05 when technically it's not 4.05. It's actually the same version as the one that's on the stock 45. Uh, this promo has the correct timing at 3.20. No, uh, MGM Records, yellow label promo, Lou Christie. Um, lightning Strikes. Here's a really cool one that I'll post up for y'all. Um, this is the most recent Paul McCartney and Wings promo 45 that I purchased. I actually bought it about maybe eight, nine months ago. Goes to show how long I'll, my channel was dormant. But this is another one of those uh, promos that has a special edit running 309, 303, excuse me, uh, on the mono side. And the uh, stock copy uh, runs 420, which is the stereo side on this promo. So, cool radio edit on that. And, uh, no, not that one. I didn't record. Oh, yes. He's the greatest dancer. You know I swapped it with the sleeve because I like the sleeve better. So, when I did the photo, sh the video shoot, I swapped records in that sleeve. But I actually believe this is the original sleeve it really came in. Um, by 1979, they weren't using the standalone cotillion sleeves anymore they were just using the atlantic group that this is 1977 vintage cotillion sleeve and right here is the um the regular sleeve uh, i posted up the mono side and yes folks i sped it up two percent because i remember hearing the song fast hot mono on am in 1979 yes sir uh I already went through the Janice and stuff. Well, I don't want to go through all this because I want to surprise you folks out there with some stuff that I posted. King for a Day, um, Thompson Twins, um, some other random stuff here. So, thank you for tuning in. Peace out.